Hello. So if you're a filmmaker like me, you probably find yourself drooling at these lightsaber looking tube lights. What you want to do is just throw them in the background of every project you do because they're one of the few lights that also look good as practicals. Even your camera wants some of the action. Well, now we're going to do something like this. But then you search them online and you find out how much they actually cost. Jeez. 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 Even the small ones are expensive. So you think to yourself, how good would the budget option be? So let's find out with this. This is the Waylight K21 RGB light tube, standing at a height of 30 centimeters, diameter of 4 centimeters, and weight of 270 grams with an OLED display. This is a filmmaking powerhouse. It's also the same size as a cucumber. For you technical folks, you'd be happy to know that this has a CRI of 95, which is pretty high and close to natural light, which has a CRI of 100. And all of this for the fraction of the cost of a Nanlite Pavo tube. So let's dive a little bit deeper. When you open the box, you're greeted with a Type C cable, instructions, and the light itself. Oh, and the OLED display is pretty easy to navigate for the following menus. If we turn on the lights, we're greeted with the first setting, which is the correlated color temperature, otherwise known as white balance. What I think is really cool is that they added a red and green tint, to really dial in different lights of different tints. So this is quite a pro feature. The next option is the RGB. If you actually know the values of red, green, and blue, then you can add it onto here. The next mode here is the actual scenes. This is really cool because there are actually quite a few here. But well, are these scenes just gimmicks or do they have a practical use apart from making me go blind? <sighs> There's paparazzi mode. There's light bulb mode. Candle, fireplace. There's a TV, which I think is also really good. Stand by. <laughs> There's a police, ambulance, and a fire brigade. A little club night. Loads of options here for different scenes and different purposes. And it works really well as a kicker light. As you can see here, it gives me a nice edge thanks to its length. Oh, and did I mention they're magnetic? What do you think of my new set? I call it the table of content. <laughs> Actually so bad. Jokes aside, this allows you to put the lights in many different places if you forget your tripods or you want to get creative. So it makes them very, very versatile. And this works by having little magnets up here and down here. You can pretty much put them anywhere or you can hang them like that. Pretty cool. But just how good can the battery life of these lights be? So if you use the lights at 100%, they're gonna last you one hour and six minutes, but you get an extra 46 minutes if you use them at 50% brightness. Another non-scientific test I'm going to do is to see how long these lights last at different colors. Red has the lowest frequency in the UV light spectrum, and I'm gonna put this light against purple, which is kind of close to the ultraviolet wavelength, which has a very high frequency. And I'm assuming that this one is going to last the shortest. And as predicted, the purple light only lasted 50 minutes and 15 seconds, and the red light lasted one hour and 13 minutes. So there you go. So are these budget tube lights any good? You know what? I would say so. For short length shoots, for the versatility, for the fact that they're RGB, I'd say they're a pretty good steal for the price. And if you want to learn three creative RGB setups that you can use these lights for, check this video here. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>